The NBA draft is just over two weeks away, and the New York Knicks have been working out prospects. Here with me to talk about the Knickerbockers' preparation for the draft is New York Post Knicks beat reporter Mark Berman. Mark, good to see you. The Knicks hosted a group of prospects on Monday with three of them expected to be lottery picks in that group. Now, one of them is Kentucky point guard Ty Ty Washington. New York has had a lot of connections to Kentucky over the past few years. Could you see the team selecting Washington at number 11? Yeah, I will say that I feel that's a bit of a long shot at this point at 11, unless they trade back. They did not interview him in Chicago, which I found very interesting. But he did come to this workout. And I feel that Leon Rose and Wesley have such a strong intel regarding Kentucky players. And if John Calipari felt that Washington was worth the 11th pick, he will be the 11th pick. But I'm not sure that John is selling it as strongly as he sold, unfortunately, Kevin Knox. But uh, listen, it's still a possibility of maybe if they trade back a few notches. Uh, he is a pure point guard. Uh, very few pure point guards in this draft, and he's got a good basketball IQ. Did not have a great season after his injury uh, at Kentucky. He had an ankle injury, didn't have the explosiveness, so he'll definitely be there at number 11. He'll definitely be there. We'll see what they do. Now, another prospect who could play the point guard position is Dyson Daniels, but his stock has been rising the past few weeks, Mark. So do you think the Knickerbockers have a legitimate shot to draft him? Yeah, it's now... 50-50 at best uh, that he will be there at 11. All the teams in front of them are working him out. San Antonio and Portland, Indiana. He's uh, He rose his stock in Chicago. He had a great pro day. Played for the G League Ignite. The, the beauty of him is he's six foot eight, can defend every position, yet still fill the Knicks' glaring need at point guard because he's a heady player. With good passing ability, he, he has to improve his three-point shot, no doubt. If he's there at 11, I think the Knicks have something going on right there. Uh, he's a quiet kid, though, from Australia. That's one little concern. You know, when you're a point guard, you want to be a, a sort of a vocal leader for general on the court. So that's the one drawback to Dyson Daniels. Dyson Daniels, a name to watch. Another one, Malachi Branham out of Ohio State. Also has lottery projections and worked out for New York. So what are you hearing about how his workout went and if the Knicks think he could be a good fit? Yeah, he's the sleeper. You know, just typed in a story uh, on uh, Branham talking to his associate head coach at Ohio State, who also thinks that Branham is a good enough ball handler where he could get into the paint that he could be sort of a combo guard, kind of played combo guard. Uh, at Ohio State, he's you looked at more as a shooting guard. Great three-point shooter, shot 41%. He came on in January like a gangbuster because when he enrolled at Ohio State, no one thought he was a one and dunner. The coaching staff figured he'd be with Ohio State for two, three years. Had a great finish to the season. Definitely a sleeper pick. Should be there at 11. I wouldn't be shocked at all if he winds up as a New York Nick. He's also a very good kid, uh, big work, work ethic. And the coach told me he makes adjustments very quickly, so quickly for a 19-year-old freshman. Mark, you know Nick fans are excited about the upcoming NBA draft. So sitting at number 11, is it likely that they stay at 11, or do you think they try to be aggressive and move up in the 2022 NBA draft? Well, a lot of it depends on who they think is going to fall to them. So if they feel Dyson isn't falling to them, maybe you move up to seven with Portland uh, Blazers shopping the pick. But the pie in the sky is moving up enough to get the player they really, really like in Jaden Ivey. We reported the Knicks interviewed him in Chicago He's a CAA guy, combo point guard out of Purdue, a lot of explosion, the guy that could get into the paint and draw the double team and start the offense that way with him kicking it out to the open shooters. He would be a terrific fit for this Knicks roster. Can they get up high enough in a trade? What do you give up? But they definitely are exploring it. Otherwise, they wouldn't have wasted one of their interview slots on Jaden Ivey, who happens to be a client of creative artist agency.
it is going to be very interesting to see what the Knicks do in the 2022 NBA draft. That is New York Post Knicks beat writer Mark Berman. Mark, a little bit over two weeks for us to see what happens. Good to see you, and thanks for joining me. Thanks so much, Dexter. I enjoyed it.